Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is fluorocarbons versus hydrocarbons. Okay, so let's go over what both of those things are. Uh, first of all, a hydrocarbon is anything that contains only carbon and hydrogen, uh, and it that's it, those are only requirements. It just has to have only carbon and hydrogen. So this is a stick structure, and if we're gonna draw it out, every bend or end is a carbon, carbon framework, and then carbon always makes four bonds, so you have to fill in the rest with hydrogens. So the ones on the end have three hydrogens, the ones in the middle have two. So this is a hydrocarbon. Okay, so next let's look at a fluorocarbon. These are a little bit different because they have the same carbon framework, but they're actually going to have fluorine that replaces every hydrogen. So basically the requirements for this is just carbon and fluorine. Remember that fluorine is spelled with that U right there because the British people won this one. Okay, so what are some differences between hydrocarbons and fluorocarbons? Well, because of the fluorines, these are much heavier. Um, these are very common. Hydrocarbons can be used for a variety of things. Uh, they can be used as solvents, so things that dissolve other chemicals. Uh, they're just kind of your basic oils, or sometimes they can be used as fuel if you break them down. And fluorocarbons, they're a lot heavier, they're a lot less common and useful, and some of the things they do are also solvents, and then they can actually be used as refrigerants. So basically like a cooling uh, device, something that will hold cool temperatures. So yeah, these are the differences between fluorocarbons and hydrocarbons. Basically just swap out all of the hydrogens for fluorines and you've made a fluorocarbon. I'm Robin Higgins and this is hydrocarbon versus fluorocarbons.